Hello everyone, I am Catechus, and today we will be continuing our guided walkthrough for Breath of Fire 2. Last episode, we found the grass man, but the circus leader demanded a trade, an Uparupa or enough cash to buy a town. This episode, we're going to see if there's a third option, because we didn't like either of those. Now sit back and grab some snacks as we dive in. Okay, where are we at? Level 21. Ryu, able to drink. That's a lovely. Okay, here we are in the lovely town of Toonlin, and we can't talk to any of the people, so we're going to head out. Just south of us is the circus here, nice and easy close by, so let's pop on in and save us a grass man. Now, painfully, we are going to have to spend yet another hundred dollars to go talk to the grass man, because, I don't know, tickets? <laughs> Come on, dude. Just just give me the ticket. Here's your cash. Stupid inflation. I don't think I've ever met such a chatty ticket salesman. Oh, man. Yep, yep. Circus, circus. Enjoy. Let's get back in there. I'm gonna go save one of the critters, I guess. I don't know. Is the grass man really man? Or is it mostly grass? Or some 50-50 split? Thank you, ma'am, for getting out of my way. Oh, I don't like that sound. Um... Hey, hey, guy, I didn't get the Uparupa. Well, did you bring money or an Uparupa? There we go, we got a third option. I'll give you nothing. Darn you, if you keep this up, I'll kill you first. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Die. Uh, what? No, he's a demon. Gasp. This guy's evil and a demon? No way. But all right, so this is a circus leader, and I love, again, just for this one fight, we have our own special background like this. Uh, this guy's name is MC Tusk. Yeah, I can't make that up. And what he's going to do is rumble and gear two. Rumble's like an earthquake spell, hits everyone. Super annoying. Uh, he's also ice element, so he's weak to fire, but we don't really have anyone that can uh, utilize that weakness. So we're just going to have Ryu do his dragon attack like normal. Cat, Ran, Jean, all of them attack. And we'll get this over pretty quick. <laughs> I'm going to slap you. That was a punch, sir. <laughs> now again, he can hurt. He is pretty tough being kind of a woolly mammoth type thing here. So make sure Cat is uh, available to heal as necessary. I mean, if you want, Gene does have uh, the cold spell. Ah, let's try it. It's got to do more than his eight damage of attack, right? Well, I'm going to get mad. Yeah, here's this rumble. Uh, it hurts, <laughs> but it's not enough to uh, full panic mode. We just got to be careful. We're in uh, dangerous territory with Cat right now. Oh, look at that. Gene spell did do more damage. So we're going to have Cat start healing herself. I'm just going to use herbs. You two uh, just start, start stabbing. Now, if you want this fight to be over super quick, just throw W fruits at Ryu like we did for Algernon, and it'll be pretty easy. Luckily, his uh, dialogue doesn't, you know, derail the combat like the goldfly or cockroach would because that was the worst oh no cat i'm gonna need you to actually heal gene i know i'm sorry we're almost done with gene sorry if you like the guy i'm just not a fan i don't know just me oh come on rumbled again good gravy he didn't do that back to back last time i played so, uh, needless to say, Ryu, Rand, I'm gonna need you guys to pick it up a bit here, get some crits, thank you. Okay, Ryu, um, I'm gonna need you to put this in, in the fourth gear and just take this guy down. I refuse to lose to a ringling, brother. Please crit. Oh, good, he's just slapping Ryu. Perfect. Ryu, that wasn't a crit. Extremely disappointed in you. <laughs> I 
Good thing we have the surplus of health BLs from the Algernon fighter, whatever her name was. Thank you, Ryu, for the counter. Now crit, yes! He did it! Okay, we gotta be close to being over with this. Hey! Oh my god, Gene! Gene of all people knocked him out! It's fantastic! And that is a butt-ton of XP and coins. And Ryu's level 22! So's Cat! Gene's 19! So many levels! My excitement refuses to be contained! No way! I don't want to die! You guys better not laugh at me when I'm dead! Aw <laughs> oh, crap, we- I, I laughed. Dang it! Alright, sorry bud. Blah, stupid hen. <laughs> People who put on torture shows need to die themselves. Cat is cold-blooded. Now, how do we get this guy out of here? Not really seeing a latch anywhere. <laughs> yeah, try to open the door, but can't figure it out. Uh, there is no door on that side, stupid. The exit's over here. Wait, what? You could have left the whole time. What are you trying to pull? You tell him, Cat. You could have gotten away any time. Are you stupid or something? Why did you stay a prisoner? Well, okay, let me explain. I was waiting here for people like you. In other words, I was waiting for someone who realized that something awful was about to occur. According to this tree, of course you could talk to it, there is a forest near gate which has died. You came to me because you need help to find out what happened. Correct? Or no? Yeah, that's about right. If I listen to the voices of the trees, I can understand what is happening in a faraway forest. But my powers aren't strong enough to know anything about the forest and gate. The powers of the demon are too strong. So what do we do now? Well, in order to find out what's truly happening, the only solution is to talk to the Great Wise Tree. I believe the best thing we could do is talk to the Great Wise Tree ASAP. Find the Deku Tree. Got it. Do you have any questions? So where is he? If not, let's get going. Okay, just ignore my question. Well, the Great Wise Tree is in a forest called the Big Sea of Trees, which is west of here. If I lead, we can walk through the forest. Awesome. Spar is now a permanent party member in our team, and he's actually really, really, really good. So with that, we're going to change our team up a little bit. We're going to have Cat, Gene, and Spar in the back. Spar is not really good for damage, or at least in his current form. He's pretty good with magic. He's a good all-rounder. He can heal, he can stat buff, he can do some attack spells. So let's check out his stats here. His wisdom's pretty high for level 12. <laughs> but his strength and whatnot really isn't good. So he's better in the back where he's safer. And his weapon is a whip, or at least in his current form, it's a whip. And I'll get to that later. Equipment-wise, yeah, no, we can give him an ocean robe. That'll help him out. We can give him a salad bowl. <laughs> Crass man wearing a salad bowl. Okay. But for now... What we want to do is head to the Great Tree west of Whale Cave. Now, easy way to get there is just to head south here and call upon Grandpa. And we're going to want to go all the way to the left until we hit land, and then follow the shore line all the way north. And this is going to take us back to the Whale Cave Beach right here. And it's going to put us in here. Ah, grumble, grumble. Now, like Spar said, we're going to want him to be party lead. And it, he's going to be like Bo from Breath of Fire of One. And there we go. We can walk through treats. And get in a fight, I guess. Oh, Catfish. Haven't seen you guys in a while. I'm just going to hit the auto battle and see what happens. Oh, Rai is going to waste a special on an almost dead Catfish. That's what's going to happen. Good job, Eagle Eye. Again, 
jeans looking better in Spar right now, but I'll just wait till later. <laughs> Now, before we continue further to the west into the Sea of Trees, there are new enemies, so let's go over them. In this forest, we're going to fight pollens, which we're used to, and they have life PLs, yada yada yada. But there are new enemies, like the Sea Bear, which will drop a Cloak Knuckle or a Lop Off Whip if you get them. Congratulations, they're pretty good items for now. Then we're going to fight Basilisk, all they can do is an Egg Beater, oh boy. Venus flies, and you have to be careful with those guys because they'll do fire breath. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, so we're going to want to keep going left and down, and you can see it on the map now in the bottom clearing there, that humongous tree. That's our goal. Let's see if we can get there without a fight. Huzzah! Ignore the dungeon music. It's false. Oh, wise tree. Spar has just returned. These are the people who need your help to find out what happened to the forest and gate. Wise tree, please talk to us. What is about to happen to this world? What is this demon? Oh my god, the tree has a face. Ah, oh, you're late, Spar. You took so long to get back, I forgot all the important things. Talk about classic old man syndrome. If I can't remember anything, it's your fault, Spar. And so, I guess do me a favor and go to Toonlin and borrow the therapy pillow. If we have that, you could go into my mind and get back my memories. Well, it's never just that simple. Looks like we reached another roadblock. Oh boy. So now we gotta find a therapy pillow in Toonlin. Great. But now we're gonna have to use Gene. Well, you don't have to use Gene, but it is the only reason he's around. And we're gonna warp to Toonlin. Now, I know we already tried talking to them and couldn't, but this is still a necessary step after talking to the tree. Now, before we enter Toonlin, um, make sure it's daytime. So we're just gonna have Ryu do the time warp again. And put him in lead, why not? And now we actually have business in Toonlin. Our main goal here is to talk to this normal looking guy, this average Joe. Hey, are you guys on a journey? Why, yes, we are. Well, they won't understand your language in this country. You see, if you want to talk here, bring a musical instrument. And it must be something spectacular, like the famous flute from High Fort. Understand? Well, then see ya. Okay, well, that was easy. We got our next goal. But since we're here, we might as well, you know, do some looting and some shopping. So first off, we're going to loot Toonlin, and it's real simple. Come all the way up here. Don't go up the velvet staircase. Instead, we're going to go into the right room here. And we're going to check out this uh, cabinet. Hey, we got a Tolan, which remember, we don't have the carpenter who can use that. So it's kind of useless to us, but hey, maybe you have him. And then out here at the room on the opposite side of the staircase. Same thing. Come in. Check this out. We get a vitamin. And a vitamin cures the uh, curse status. But alright. For now, we're done looting Toonlin. However, we can, you know, buy some things from the shops here because they're fish people and they talk normal. Hello, my good fish man. Your best Dungeon delving gear, please. So for this, we're actually going to sell a bunch of crap that I have and I don't know why anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of all these charcoals that I've been accumulating. Uh, get rid of the cake since it's useless, the Hexus Staff, the Wizard Ring, Bum's Cloak, Short Rapier, Wristband, Headbands, all this old garbage. All Bronze Shield too, why not? all of it. I ain't using it. Make some room. And then we're gonna switch things up here. So for Spar, I'm gonna get the Ivy Whip. That's gonna raise him up a lot there. And then I'm gonna get him the Crimson Robe. Again, another pretty good boost. If you want, feel free to get this also for Cat if you have the money. And then... Additionally, I'm just going to buy a charm shield, and that's going to be for Sten. We have to have Sten for High Fort. It's mandatory. Now, one thing to note, Moth DR here is a really good dagger for Sten. Don't buy it. We're going to get a free one at High Fort. 
Additionally, if you're using bow, twin bow is really good because it attacks twice, so not a bad weapon for him. And additionally, we're going to get a free quick cloak in the next dungeon as well, so don't bother buying one of those. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to head over to the item shop. The next dungeon is very long and difficult, so I want to make sure we have enough healing. Oh, come on, people, get quiet. Stop crowding around the stairs. Now, the reason we're stopping here, we're going to buy so many healing items. All right, it, it's unfathomable. The next dungeon is quite possibly the hardest dungeon in the entire game, not only due to the complexity of the map, but also just the ridiculousness of the enemies and bosses. So because of that, I'm going to make sure I have one full stack of W fruit in case I need to, uh, I don't know, just have Ryu do dragon attacks every turn. I'm going to make sure I have one full stack of life PLs because people are going to die. Everything else, I'm going to buy help BLs. <laughs> I'm just buying a lot of these. At the very least, what we're also doing if we don't use them is slowly getting rid of um, herbs from our inventory and replacing those stacks with health BLs because that's just the next course of action. But all right, we're fully shopped up, so that's good. Now we can get out of Toonlin. You have to talk to the guy in blue to know to get the famous flute. So our next stop is going to be to warp to town ship. One, we need Stan in our team, and two, we're going to show off some new shaman stuff, including a spar transformation. So I'll pop on in. Ah, home sweet township. <laughs> I want to change you. I want to change my team. Okay, so for this, again, we're going to have Cat. Then we're going to have Sten, who thankfully is level 18 and he has a fighting chance. And then lastly, Spar, because he's uh, pretty good. If you want, you could probably swap Spar for Rand or Bo, but you'll see that Spar is pretty good the way uh, he is right now. And that'll make sense after we shamanize him. So for Sten, we're going to give him Sana so that he has more attack potential. And we already did that before, so we can just go over to the list. However, Spar, we're going to give Spar only Sesso. And that's going to be enough for a visual transformation. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> oh, look at yourself. This is a great success. And how? So, we already went through Sten, but Shamanized Spar, as you can tell, we went from 86 at AP to a max of 111. That's a pretty big jump. Wisdom went from like 70 something to 103. Equally big old jump. Ah, Spar is, Spar is really good. <laughs> Now that we have that done, we gotta head on over to High Fort, which is located north of the desert area where we found the secret character Blue. Real easy to get there. Just go to the beach, get on Gramps, go straight south, and park on the beach next to this house. The house has nothing important, so we're gonna skip that, and we're gonna head to the east. Well, okay, we got into a fight before I went over the characters. But anyway, this is a Basilisk. They're not too bad, but they do have the Egg Beater ability, so do be careful. They will hit everyone almost twice all the time. So much fun. There we go. Spar's attack did change. Now, one thing to note, Spar has, in this form, the Spore ability. What that does is cast Sweet Breath on the enemies. However, there is a good chance it can backfire if there is a, quote, strong headwind and try to put your own teammates to sleep. Not that great if you ask me, so I'm not going to use it. But 
But all right. I'm going to heal up a little bit. You know what? I'm just going to use some herbs since it was only cat and just a little bit. Now, should go over <laughs> the enemies in this area before I show any of them off ahead of time. We're going to have Dynafung, which will cast Thunder and it'll hit everyone. Funny thing is, though, they can only cast Thunder once and they run out of AP. Then the S Golem, we've seen them. Another chance to get Stone Armor. Basilisk, we just saw them. They have the Egg Beater ability. Pollens, which we're used to. They drop life PLs. Sea Sludge, if you're lucky, you'll kill them. G Lizard, if you're lucky, they'll actually drop something for you. Otherwise, they're not too bad. Ah, dang it. It's nighttime again. Ah, takes me too long to explain anything. <laughs> All right, now, real simple. If you brought Gene, you can turn into a giant frog and hop up the hillsides here, but we didn't, so we got to suffer. Oh, two Dynafungs. I'm just going to hit auto battle again. Worst they can do is cast Thunder, just like this. But it doesn't really hurt us anymore, you know? We're a bit strong for this. Good job, guys. You're now out of AP. And dead, because Ryu decided to get a special in. <laughs> ah, can't cast it twice. Womp womp. Now, while I heal, kind of the reason I didn't bring Jean is I kind of want to get in the extra fights. I want Sten to be as humanly strong as I can get him before we get to High Fort. Oh, boy. Because if you have not been leveling Sten, make sure he's level 18. It It's very important. Hey, Spar got to level 13, so that's good. He's gonna need that extra magic. I know I keep calling Senehi, and I'm sorry. Of course I have it. <laughs> Again, make sure Sten is at least level 18 like we got him. Because he's got some uh, solo battles coming up. Anyway, we're almost there. There's High Fort, top of the hill. Just hop on in. And you can only enter in daytime, by the way. So make sure to use uh, Ryu's Time Warp. Walk on over with Sten in the lead, because we got to use his ability. This is our hometown, High Fort. Yep, good job. Do we have to enter this castle? Yeah, we need that flute. Darn it. <laughs> I know, the famous flute, right? To tell you the truth, I never intended to come back home. Ever again. Well, too late to turn back now. So head on in. Wait, who is it? I will not allow anyone other than Highlanders to enter our castle. Get out. Huh? Wait, hold it. You! Chief Sten. Chief? You're alive? Yeah, and with dyed hair. I'm not a chief anymore, Gain. Chief, chief Sten! I thought for sure that you were killed at the Gunheim War. Ah, memories. It might have been better if I was killed. Aw, don't talk like that, buddy. You're not terrible. But you're home, chief. Everyone will be so happy. They will say, the chief has returned. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. Now listen, Gain. I'm not your chief anymore, and I'm not a hero. I'm just a coward who keeps running away. The hero of Gunheim is Truvo. He fought to the end at that battlefield of hell. How is he, by the way? Isn't he going to be a general soon? Um... Well, in any event, welcome home. Truvo has been looking forward to seeing you. Oh, well, that's impossible. I know that guy. <laughs> it's no good. How do I face him now? It was a mistake to come home after all. You're not even going to see the princess? 
Look, I can't face him. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have come home. <laughs> right, Gain? Okay, Sten's not listening, and he's gonna wander off without us. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I have a little problem, so you'll have to get the famous flute without me. Yeah, great, Sten. You know, running solves nothing. No matter what anyone says, Sten is my chief. Therefore, I have made a decision that the chief's friends may enter the castle. Please enter. Okay, yeah, sure. Sounds great. Put Ryu back in the lead. Now we have to go north. There's nothing to the south that we can do. Keep just head across this bridge. Keep heading north. They won't let us go anywhere else. So many bridges. I hope I'm not afraid of heights. <laughs> Ignore the stairs. Just keep going north. Up and up and up. And eventually we'll have a scene. There is a war plan meeting being held right now. You'll be in trouble if you enter without permission. Um, eh, I'll risk it. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, sinister music, apparently. That's not a good sign. Let me hear the report on the resistance in the Southwest Division. Ah, uh, we don't have enough military power. And as a result, we are behind schedule. If we are delayed in one attack, the next attack will also be delayed. Send soldiers from another unit. We've got to overcome them by force of numbers. Yes, but if we continue to do that, we will fail in keeping the schedule. Commander of an army corps. Real original. Couldn't even give him a name. In addition, if we had veteran fighters, it would be one thing. But we have nothing but rookies. Silence! I'll hear no more excuses. Move according to schedule, at any cost. What a slave driver. But... I will not allow you to talk back to me. You soldier, all you have to do is fight as I say. You need not worry. The money you risked your life to obtain is used wisely for this country. Soon, an amazing weapon will be completed. When that happens, we can say goodbye to the life of pitiful hired soldiers. We may even conquer the world. Do you understand? Now go, fly my monkeys. Oh, wait, wait, wrong media. <laughs> All right, so she's bonkers, that's good. But anyway, hey, can I borrow your flute? Wait. Who are you guys? Well, I'm Ryu. Nice to meet you. People like you are not permitted here. We are in the middle of a war plan meeting. You're not going to say you didn't hear about it. Rude fellows, disappear. Wait, what? Hold on. I, I just wanted a flute. Ha. Huh. I don't think they heard anything important, but I must take precautions, especially about the secret weapon. I can't let that leak out. <laughs> That can't be good. I kind of wonder where we went. Uh, did we die? We're just Sten now? Ah, oh, they're so late. Ryu, what are you doing? Sten, what happened to your guests? Yeah, I'm a bit worried too, bud. Maybe you should go see what happened. Well, I guess I'll have to go see. Oh, but watch out for Shupke. Who? Shupke? What's a Shupke? She came to this castle while you were away. She was promoted very quickly, and she is now general. Oh yeah, okay, I'll be careful. Alright, now we're Sten, and we're only Sten. But before we go upstairs, uh, go downstairs, and we can get some free loot. Now it is possible to get in fights down here. We have some enemies like Pharaoh, Deathbringer, Reluva, Soulflick, Pollen, Sea Sludge, Fastman, G Lizard, M Mummy, Basilisk, and H Fly, all listed here. I would run from anything but Pharaoh, H Fly, and Pollen, and maybe Fastman. It's just we're only Sten, and he's not going to live very long, is my only recommendation. So if you have to level, you can just be very, very careful about it. There is a save point on the first floor where we entered. 
so I would recommend saving there first, coming down, fighting if needed only. Now that that's out of the way, let's very carefully and quickly go downstairs. And down here we can get three chests. An extract, always appreciated. The moth dagger that I told you not to buy because we got one free. And same with a quick cloak. All good items. And we're going to equip them. Just look at that. Moth dagger takes them up to 125. Also, make sure to keep the silver dagger just in case. Silver does holy damage and there are enemies here that are weak to holy especially the final boss but for now we can do that oh i forgot the quick cloak there we go lowers our defense but our vigor or speed went through the roof a little bit there okay now that we got the treasures we're gonna go upstairs again quickly and directly because we don't want to get into fights now that we're up here we're a bit safer so just keep climbing we gotta follow ryu's route that he took to find him now on this floor, you're going to notice that the item shops in the inn are functional, but before any of that, I highly recommend save at the dragon statue and deposit all of your money at the bank. <laughs> There's a very good chance we're going to die. So it doesn't matter how much you have. If you want to keep it, deposit there and make sure to save at the dragon shrine. I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit, but honestly, you guys shouldn't definitely take precautions with this. Now, when you're ready, just head north. Oh, great, Trubo. Oh, there's someone that looks a lot like this guy I know called Sten. Yeah, yeah but who's saying that? That, that voice. Trubo? What do you mean, Trubo? It really is Sten. Holy, how tall is this place? You've got a lot of nerve coming back now, you sissy monkey. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, Trubo. Gar, You're sorry, huh? You have no idea how it's been for me since you left. I'll make you pay. One of the few times we get a cool intro scene. This monkey has hops. <laughs> One thing I'm going to point out, uh, his name in the dialogue is Trubo, but in battle, Torubo. Yeah, this game is just filled with nothing but errors like this. Part of the charm. Now, one thing I'm going to say, the current fight we are in now is phase one. Phase one is a joke fight, the worst fight. We're just going to just use help BLs every single turn, and hopefully we'll be able to survive and he doesn't get criticals like that as often, because he has a very high crit chance. So we just got to stay alive for, what is it, three turns and one extra hit. However, it is not official game over if we die during phase one here. We will still start with phase two. I just, if possible, want to keep my shaman powers. All right. It's looking good. Sorry, you guys can't see the air quotes I have right now. We're still alive, so that's good. More help BLs? Come on, Stan, I need you to dodge. Good job. Back, 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 back. No! Ah, that hurt. Alright, so the name of the game is just surviving here. Hopefully he doesn't crit. Good. That was the last attack. Trubo, you're still upset with me? Yeah, of course I'm mad. <laughs> if you were still alive, why didn't you come home sooner? After you charged into the enemy at Gunheim, I... I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> there was no way the enemy could be conquered by your attack alone. Maybe it was okay for you to die a hero, but that's the same as running away. Yeah, you're exactly right, bud. Since then, I've done nothing but run. That's why I couldn't come back here. I just couldn't face you guys. I don't care about me. What I can't forgive is the way you left the princess and disappeared. Truvo, please stop. Arr, it's sad to think that the man the princess chose over me is a worthless monkey. Let's go, Sten. Fat pig. Holy crap. He mad. Oh man, it's quaking. You fool, what are you doing? The bridge will fall. Show me your courage, Sten. 
If we fight really hard, we'll have a winner in three turns, before the bridge falls. Yeah, welcome to phase two, or what I call hell. Now, what we gotta do is take Trubo out in literally three turns or it's game over. This is the worst. This is a brick wall in this freaking game. Especially with Trubo, it is high attack rate, high crit rate, just high douchebaggery. <laughs> in reality, we just have to cast Flame twice, two times, and we win. And that was once. That's fantastic. Uh, cross your fingers on cast two here. Okay, don't, don't, cr don't crit. Yes, it, a dodge. Go, Sten, go. And we won. Oh my god. Oh, screw this fight. This is the worst fight. I hate this fight so freaking much. I'd rather fight the main boss like 18 times in a row than this guy. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him so much. Now, remember, once you get to a certain level of uh, damage, you will be unshamanized. That's fine. If it happens, do not worry about it. You do not have to keep Sten in shaman form. It's just nice. But there we go. We landed in a pond. Hey, are you okay? Take courage, Trubo. <laughs> we finished the hard part of the game. Ugh. Why? <laughs> Darn, I lost. Yeah, but you haven't changed a bit, Trubo. <laughs> You're still as reckless as ever. Just like the time you led the rowdy guys from the Demolition Squad. I'm glad you haven't changed either, Sten. But you came home much too late, you fool. What do you think happened to this castle while you were gone? Are you talking about that woman, Shupke? Yeah, this country is being controlled to her liking. What is she doing wrong, though? She's a beautiful and intelligent woman, right? <laughs> Looks aren't everything. Let me finish, stupid. <laughs> She's got her eyes on the power of this castle. And do you know what the key is to releasing those powers? Uh, no. The key is a person from the royal family. In other words, the princess. Oh no, not the princess! Wait, wait a minute. What is she going to do with the princess? I don't know. <laughs> bum bum bum! The only thing I know is that she's got something evil up her sleeve, and it's possible the princess will be the one that gets hurt. Trubo, give me all the details. <laughs> There's a work road on the upper left, and a secret passage in the king's room. These two roads lead to where the princess is. What we have against us are the monsters in the road and the soldiers who are under the influence of Shupke. On our side, we have you and me. <laughs> what is this dialogue? What do we do in this situation, Chief? Well, let's take Formation P. Trubo, you go from the top, I'll go from the left. Roger, then I'll see you later. Okay, first thing to do, follow Trubo. 100%, do it. <laughs> in here, there is monster music, but there's also a healing fountain. And we need it so much. And a dragon shrine. Oh boy. And we're going to save. We're going to stop here and we're going to save. I do not recommend lev level grinding Sten here because the enemies suck that hard. I would recommend just saving and I'll see you next time. So for now, this has been part 19 of our Breath of Fire 2 guided walkthrough where we beat the hardest boss in the entire game. Screw you, Trubo. Stay tuned for the next episode as we beat one of the hardest dungeons in this game, High Fort. If you liked the episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.